Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel. I thought today I would just kind of take you through what I keep in my personal travel bag. I'm headed out to California for a friend's wedding this weekend and I thought I would show you what I bring because I have to pack and um, flying is something that I've always been a little bit like nervous and anxious about. Um, but this year I'm just letting it be known that like it's not a thing. I don't have to worry about it. I just have to get on and that's totally fine. So um, I'm trying to like change my mentality when it comes to flying, but it really does help me bring things that make me feel comfortable and confident and just secure and familiar wherever I'm at. Just because if I have things that I'm familiar with, it helps me not feel as nervous um, when I'm somewhere new. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you do like the videos that I create, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here on my channel. I also, you guys will probably notice, just changed my hair. Um, a couple days ago I was on Instagram and I saw like the most gorgeous hair inspiration pic. And I've had like hair like this before. Um, but yeah, I had to text, um, the guy who does my hair and I had to beg him to get me in and I didn't even have to beg he was so sweet and was just like come on in so that was yesterday so I'm excited to have a fresh new do for my trip um, but yeah let's get into what I have in my bag firstly I'll show you the bag that I'm using this is a nine west little tote bag I actually purchased this from Burlington Coat Factory I'd never been in there and I walked in there and saw this and fell in love. I just really thought it would be perfect to travel with. Yeah, it's just like been very like sturdy and durable. Um, it's obviously not like the most expensive bag, but I just feel like it's not too, too bad. There are, there is like a little keychain and key on this side that I hate and cannot get off. So when I'm wearing it, I'll just turn it this way. And I just feel like it's such a like chic, cute way to travel and keep all of your things. And like I said, it's very big. Um, so it can hold a lot of my goodies that I need. And yeah, I just really love it. So the first thing that I have to pack um, is my laptop. I don't always love having my laptop with me because I just, I don't like taking it out for security. I don't like feeling like I have to lug it around. I don't know, it's just can get annoying. But I do have YouTube videos to edit and upload while I'm away, so um, I will have to work and bring this, but that's totally fine because it does fit so cute and nicely in the bag. Like I just, it's perfect. So I'm gonna bring that. I'm also going to bring my vlogging camera, which I'm actually filming this on right now. My main camera is having like, an issue today and <laughs> I didn't have time. So I'm on my vlogging camera, so I can't show you that, but it is the Canon G7X. I love it, it's so small and easy to travel with. You can put it in your pocket if you have big pockets. Um, it can easily go from a big tote to like a tiny little clutch. I just love having it around, and especially this trip is very special to me and to my friends, so I definitely wanna capture some great moments. And um, yeah, that'll definitely be coming with me. Same with like tech stuff. I have to bring my charger, um, that's an obvious. I never go anywhere without that. And then I also am going to, <laughs> I'm also going to bring my new AirPods. Sebastian actually got these for me when I hit a thousand subscribers. I have been wanting them for such a long time and it was so sweet that he got me these. And then he actually engraved the case to say a thousand more. So it's just like a sweet reminder when I look at it that like, I hit a thousand and then I'll hit a thousand more and a thousand more and a thousand more and it just like never stops and I, you know, there's no limit to what I can reach and it's just like, I don't know, it was a very thoughtful gift so it makes me happy when I see these and um, yeah, I can't talk to you because I have my AirPods in. A couple pouches that I have in my bag normally, but especially when I travel, is this very <laughs> dirty Zoella um, little pouch. I got this years ago and I just have always kept it with me. It's like the perfect size. Um, it doesn't get too like bulky and fat. I just really love it. And it has a lot of like lip glosses, um, staple lipsticks that I always wear. And then it has my Glossier Bomb.com chapstick, which you guys know I have like multiple of these. It's the only chapstick I use. This one is the coconut, which is my favorite like daytime scent. So I'm gonna stick this in here so that I have it to like keep my lips moisturized on the plane. Um, and all that stuff. And then a, another pouch that I always keep in my bag, but especially when I travel, is my little essential oil bag. This is just like a little beaded bag and it says Virgo, which is my um, 
zodiac sign <laughs> and normally I keep uh, like a lot in here but we had some spillage which wasn't great so I'm only gonna keep the two that I really need um, I need to go upstairs and grab it but it's my like sleep time one I put that on every single night and I love it and then this one right here is just one that I made it's like a calming relaxing blend um, just to put on right before the plane just to like remind myself that I like I'm calm and confident and I can do this and I don't need to worry about anything I will say I'm doing um, a lot extra to make me feel like <laughs> very calm because Sebastian's not, he is coming to California with me, but he is in Nashville currently. So he's going to meet me in California. So I have to fly there by myself. And that just always is a little bit harder for me. If I have Sebastian there, then it's totally fine. Um, so yeah, when I'm by myself, I take all the precautions because I'm not messing around. It's just me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of why I've taking a little bit more time to add the things that I really love and enjoy to come with me. Okay, moving on to like a roller ball. Um, I don't really like to take big perfumes just because they're annoying to put in suitcases. And so I just find that roller balls are so easy. And I was at Harmon's and found this randomly and I loved it. So this is the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Perfume and it is so amazing. It smells exactly like what you'd think like coconut and very summery and tropical would smell like, but with the added nectar it's just like this very sweet and soft smell and i just am obsessed with it so i grabbed this so that i could stick it into my bag and take it with me um, for the rest of the trip it's just easy to keep in my bag um and then moving on to another staple i always have gum <laughs> like even if i'm not traveling i'm a big gum chewer and especially when i travel to like you know pop your ears and just like, I don't know, it makes me feel very fresh and clean when I have like nice breath. So this I found at Harmon's, this is the Simply Gum. This is the natural peppermint. I am trying to like, I don't know, not have ones that have like aspartame. I don't know, it's so hard. There's so many things to stay away from. Um, and update and change it whatever but i thought i'd give these a try we'll see how i like them i'm extremely picky with gum so we'll see and then i also got the grapefruit kind because i love grapefruit i have such a weird thing about grapefruit it's just like amazing and i love it so this is more like a gum when i don't know you just want something fun but this is like a staple i always need mint um or like a peppermint or something like that. So whoop, I have two of um, packs of gum, which I think will be perfect for the trip. And to kind of go along with that, I have, oh, I just broke the package. I, I have um, a couple of these Smart Mouth Original Activated Mouthwashes. And I watched Jaclyn Hill's um, Winter Favorites and she talked about this mouthwash, so I went and bought it and I love it. I genuinely really love it and so I saw that they had little travel packs as well so I'm gonna bring a couple again just to have on the trip and just to kind of make me feel fresh and um, I don't know there's really nothing more to say about mouthwash but um, to keep my area very clean because it is flu season people are getting sick you also can just never know with an airplane I have these wet ones sensitive skin hand wipes so they're fragrance free just because I don't want the like fragrance to dry out my hands even more so I just like to have these just to kind of give everything a nice wipe down before I sit on it um, yeah, that's always very important on a plane. <laughs> and then for my hands, I just have this everyone for everybody hand sanitizer gel and it's coconut and lemon and I freaking love it. If you don't have a hand sanitizer that smells good, like if it just smells like Purell, it, ugh, I can't. So I love this one. It's really nice. Um, it's like a normal hand sanitizer, so it can feel like a little bit drying, which I hate, um, but it's not too bad. So, um, and then I'm only flying to California, which is a very short trip um, from Utah. So I won't, I didn't really need like any snacks. I'm gonna have lunch before and then I'm meeting um, with everyone to have dinner that night. So I didn't really need like snacks for the long <laughs> flight because it's not long, but I did want to bring something just in case. So this is Bob's Red Mill peanut butter and jelly oat bar. And I love stuff like this. Peanut butter and jelly is probably like my favorite because I love like raspberry bars. I don't do well with like chocolate protein bars or chocolate granola bars um so i feel like this will be a good little thing just to have just in case and this will be good to keep if i even don't eat it like on the plane i can have it um throughout the rest of the trip i don't know it's just easy to have just in case and um last couple things i have some pads and tampons because yep 
I get to go to California on my period and it's so fun. Oh, I'm so annoyed. But um, you guys know I'm such a pad person. I prefer them. It's a very unpopular opinion, I know, but I love them and I never feel like uncomfortable or dirty in them. I don't know. I just have like a very easy going period so these don't bother me at all but because i am going to a wedding and i have to wear a really like beautiful dress i wanted to find a tampon that i like my body agreed with if that makes sense so i tried the P always pure pads and tampons that are like organic and cotton and they don't have any like bleaches or dyes or anything so um i've tried a couple of these tampons and they've worked really well um they're still not like my favorite but they work. Um, so I'm gonna bring a couple of these. I keep a couple in my bag and then the rest in my suitcase. And then I'm also gonna bring pads for when I'm not at the wedding because it's just, it's what I prefer. So I have those. And then lastly is entertainment, I guess. So I'm currently reading this book. This is The Tattooist of Oswich and I love it. It's such a sweet book. And um, I think I'm getting to the sadder parts which is making me nervous. But um, yeah, I like to read every single night and that doesn't change when I'm on vacation and so I thought I'd bring this to kind of get a good amount in at the airport. I don't read on planes just because I can't do it with the sound and it's like not as distracting as like a movie. Like I do prefer, oh my god my legs is like, I do prefer watching like a show um but I do like reading books when I'm waiting um or yeah if I have any downtime at the airport it's really nice to take out this book. So um, I'm going to bring that. It's super easy. It's a very small book, so I figured it wouldn't be too bad to bring. And then, um, I don't have it. Oh, my phone. My phone is charging. So I'm also going to bring my phone, of course. And I think I already said, but I downloaded um, Taylor Swift's documentary on Netflix. So when you download it, you don't have to like have any Wi-Fi or anything to watch stuff on Netflix, which is a great tip. And so... Yeah, I just think it'll be really nice and um, so yeah I think if I had like normal headphones like I said I'm playing Delta so they have like all of the fun movies and stuff and that's something that I really think helps with my travel anxiety is when I have something to look forward to like a movie or a documentary that I've really been wanting to watch um, it just makes me feel like I'm at home just watching a good movie so that is everything that's all that's in my travel bag I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of what I bring. Hope that you guys have a great week and I will see you in my next one. Bye.